Hi guys, here I am today with my latest Stitch Fix box. My name is Fawn, this is my channel and it's my happy place. If you like fashion and clothing and home and all that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So, Stitch Fix. Now I've got to be honest girls, another Stitch Fix box came about two weeks ago, just before my operation and I opened it and it was so bad, I just, at that time, could not be bothered to try it. So it's fingers crossed that this one's better. It really was. It was the worst box I've ever had from them. So, um, as you know, I do struggle with Stitch Fix. I think it's because of my size. I think, truthfully, Stitch Fix are not that keen on the, the plus size or... or upper end of sizing shall we say of standard sizing um i think that the choices left to the ladies is very small um so the stylists have a bit of a job on their hands but that that's my guess i may be wrong maybe there's someone out there who's who's my sort of size who's having you know barnstormers with stitch fix but i'm not so much so anyway fingers crossed that this one's better so you open the box up and inside whoops looks like this <laughs> Not that you could see much then, could you? That was a bit pointless. But inside you've got all your paperwork. So first of all is um, a code for get 15 pounds, give 15 pounds to anybody that wants to sign up and try a Stitch Fix. Uh, you get an envelope with your um, sticky label because anything you don't want goes back in the box. Uh, you get your green pricing list, which you know I don't look at. And then you get your uh, oh hello. It's £10 for a box. You don't have to sign up to have it monthly. Um, you can do it whenever you feel like. At the moment, I'm doing it monthly, but I'm beginning to think that I may stop it for a bit because it's just not working out for me at the moment. But we'll see. Maybe this box will change my mind. Let's see what... Oh, I've got a different stylist again. Someone called Imogen this time. So it says, hi, Fawn, happy fix day. I'm so happy you were able to take a peek at your fix preview and you're excited to try a few of the pieces I included for you. Um, one of them, I did choose one off the... I feel really rotten going, no, I don't like anything. But I've had to do that quite a few times in the fix previews. This time there was one that I was willing to try. Um, she's going into, I focused your fix on casual and business focused styles. Business? Where does she get business from? I don't work. Business is, uh, huh? Okay. Uh, is your fix today closer to pieces you'd like to see in the future? Before, be sure to let me know as your partnership will help me create an even better fix for you in the future. Oh. Um. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Imogen, but I don't know who ever told you that I was interested in business clothes because as I say, I'm a granny and I, you know, I don't, I don't work in a business field. So this could be a really weird box. Let's have a look, shall we? So here's my bundle, some pretty patterns in it. So maybe, maybe. Right, first out of the box is the thing that I said I was willing to try. It's by Editor's Cut. It's a t-shirt dress. It's got um, a gold button on the sleeve, sort of a rolled tab sleeve with this sort of cord on it strange isn't it it is high necked which is not a favorite of mine but it's a navy blue which is a good color on me um it has an elasticated waist with um a pull tie <laughs> um does it have anything else about it no not much else to say about it i mean it's, it's nice it's classic it's simple um as i say that was by editor's cut and this is in a size 18 and that was the one thing that i said yeah i'll try it <laughs> then we have oh, i don't like the pattern on this already and i like patterned things so that's a shame really unless it amazes me it won't be staying okay there's another dress um yeah i'm not keen on that pattern it's got long sleeves puffy long sleeves it's in what i call bry nylon um i think it's meant to be sort of a shirt dress does it button? Yes, it's it's buttoned all the way down the front. I had to figure that out for a minute. Um, no pockets and very short. Now I've got reasonable legs, so I'm not I don't mind if something's a bit above the knee. But I've got a feeling this is going to be really above the knee. This is by And S, um, and it is a size 18. So we'll see. But 
fabric and pattern no then we have oh, this is a pretty pattern here we go i don't mind a pattern you see what is this oh this is a skirt it's a jersey skirt um <laughs> i have a feeling i'm gonna look like a sausage in a skin in this but it's it is very pretty i like the pattern on it it's um yes it's a wrap so it's mock wrap in the sense that it's sewn down so it can't come undone but it is a wrap shaped skirt with a tie but you know you can't undo it it won't open out but that's quite pretty i quite like that but i have a sneaking suspicion that it's going to be too tight um this is by morvet and what size is this this is a 16 so we'll see next up in black we have what is what am I looking at? Oh, okay, a pair of trousers. <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at then. A pair of trousers. Um, they feel like jogging, jogging type, you know, sweatshirty, joggy type. Um, they have, do they have pockets? There are no pockets. It's got one of these really big, wide waistbands, the sort that you have to sort of double over. It's not going to come across very well on here, but no pockets um it looks like athleisure or athleisure which i don't mind a bit of but it's not top of my tree again it's more vet uh these are a 16 they're calling it a lydia lounge trouser so that will tell you it's somewhere between a pajama and a and a pair of yoga pants or, or jogging pants <laughs> i mustn't laugh i mustn't laugh and then finally, something in green. Now, I do like green. Uh, oh, yes, this is very businessy. Oh, dear. Okay, it's a dress. High neck. <laughs> a three quarter sleeve, maybe. Um, zip down the back. Flared skirt. No pockets. It, as, as, it, it is as plain as plain can be. Um, it's by Hobbs. It's called the Flow Ponty Dress and it's an 18 and it is just so, it's winter. This is a winter dress. I'm going to have a job getting into this because it's a Hobbs 18. Um, they don't allow for boobies very much. Um, I, I don't know what to say. So um, yeah, let's do the try on. <laughs> I'm going to force myself into one of my sort of loosest bras, but um, oh dear, oh dear, 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 it's going from bad to worse. I do not know what Stitch Fix are up to, but let's try it on and have a look. So I thought I'd start with the one that I was sort of most confident about, um, which is the one that I approved on the preview. Um, it's the blue sort of t-shirt dress very comfortable very very comfortable very plain here the fabric is lovely I think it must be like a modal mix because it's got that sort of velvety feel that you get with modal it's got pockets which I love um, I'll show you the back I am um, I quite like it quite like it this is going to be very very price dependent um, because t-shirt dresses you can get everywhere so I mean if it's a sensible price I might add this to my wardrobe because I figure with a nice long chain, some jewellery, maybe a scarf, you know, I can break up this, but it's not too, you know, the sizing is okay on this and I'm quite happy with it. Oh, now for the rest. Okay, this one is clearly too small. Even if it wasn't, it would be too short. I couldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing a dress as short as this. I think you need to be a good 10, 20 years younger than me to walk around with your skirt quite as, as high as that. It does have pockets, which I didn't realise. Um, so that's a plus, I suppose. Um, <laughs> the sleeves are fine. I mean, I just can't do the boobs at all. The boobs, forget it. It's just not happening. I mean, it's straining across the back of me. Um, I didn't like the pattern anyway, so I don't mind too much. And it really is very, very bright eye on, ladies. It really, really is. But it's it's miles off. I'm just it's miles off fitting over the bosoms. It fits everywhere else. I've room everywhere else, but no room, <laughs> no room across the chest. 
okay, from bad to worse. Uh, where do I start? I'm not doing it all the way up because it comes very high up the neck and very tight around the neck and I cannot cope with things around here that are tight. Um, so it is sitting, it would sit better on someone who was able to do that up. This is a slim lady's dress. This is the kind of dress that our beautiful Kate Middleton wears. Um, it's unrelieved. You've got to have an amazing body for under this. I look like a sausage in a skin in this dress. Um, you'll see the big zip down the back. <laughs> I, I just can't, I can't bring myself. I did try to, can't bring myself. It brings on feelings of sort of suffocation when something's so uh, around the neck. Um, it is three quarters sleeve. I like the colour. If this was the middle of winter, girls, I'd be saying grab it if you're slimmer than me because it's a lovely quality, nice dress. But it's not a dress for me. <laughs> and it's only August 2nd. <laughs> Okay, then the trousers. I mean, the athleisure trousers, the lounging trousers, I couldn't wear these out. Um, not sure that I'd want to wear them out. They're wide legs. I have a horrible suspicion that they're gonna look pretty good over the camera, um, but in real life, they're not. They are snug to the tummy. There are no pockets. There's no sort of alleviation. Who wears lounging trousers that don't have pockets? I, I will. And they also have this thing going on, which is this double layer. Now look, I can pull it all the way up to my boobs. It's a fashion at the moment in some athleisure I've noticed. I can't understand it. As a lady who gets hot, sorry, tummy. As a lady who gets hot, having two thick layers of fabric around my, my sort of liver and kidneys, as my, my granny would say, I just can't, I, don't, I can't get my head around who wears it like that. They are meant to be high-waisted. They are meant to come all the way up there, but I just, uh, they're not for me. They're so not me, it's insane. And what have these got to do with office wear? Oh, I don't know. Okay, last but by no means least is the wrap skirt. I actually quite like this. I'm surprised. <laughs> Gotta say I'm surprised. What I like about it is, there is absolutely no way, I hope you can tell, for your legs or anything else to go on display. They've, they've made it with so much fabric that when you're walking, there is no danger of flashing anything. It is supremely comfortable. You know, it's an elasticated waist. It's a bit clingy on me, I would say. I'm a little bit too big for this. Probably could have done with an 18 in it, which is a bit, <laughs> oh, but still my busy, but I probably could have done with an 18 in it. This is a 16. Um, I really like it. I think it's beautifully made. I think the pattern is cute. I like the gathering. There's just enough, not so much that it's adding a lot of bulk. Um, I am very surprised <laughs> and yeah, quite stunned, but I do like this skirt. Okay, <laughs> I'm so hot and clammy guys. I've still got the bra on because I'm going to do another one now in a second and it's my Lakiro. So I have great hopes from that one. I have a lot more success with Lakiro than I do with Stitch Fix. But anyway, let's get to it. So I get my green price list out because, you know, let's be fair, money matters. Okay, let's start with the little t-shirt dress, which I do like. I do like. Um, it was by Editor's Cut. It's called the Isa Button Epaulette T-shirt Mini Dress Navy 18, size 18, I should say. Um, that is 39 pounds, 40 pounds. Hmm, I did quite like it. I think this is one you guys are gonna have to tell me. Is it worth 40 pounds? Well, it would be less 10 pounds styling fee, so another 30 pounds. I don't know. I think I've got quite a lot of things fairly similar, so, but I'll put it on the maybe. So I'm going straight back in the box. Next. <laughs> Next, this is by Aunt Et. It's called the Philippa Flippy Printed Shirt Button Down. This was a size 18 and it is 50 pounds, 49 pounds. 50 pounds in anyone else's money. 49 pounds it's not worth it. it honestly ladies it's not worth it even if you've watched and thought oh i could maybe rock that 
you could get this, this quality, oh, you know, Matalan, anywhere, anywhere really you could, and for a hell of a lot less than £49. So that is going back, aside from the fact that I looked awful in it. <laughs> The green dress from Hobbs. Uh, it's called the Flow Ponty dress. This was also a size 18 in green, and ladies, it was £89. <sighs> Marks and Spencers would do the same and charge you £40. Uh, honestly, it's not £89. It was not £89. So that is definitely going back. I mean, it was going back anyway because, you know, my boobs, the whole high neck thing. But I wouldn't even recommend it to anybody because that is a lot of money and the quality is no better than Marks and Spencer's. And certainly that style had like nothing to say for itself. Then we have the little skirt. Oh gosh, again, this is a Morvette. I was surprised how much I liked this. Um, oh, I'm sweating. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> little beads of sweat. <laughs> Um, I was surprised how much I liked this skirt once I'd put it on. I mean, I liked the pattern straight away, but I was very iffy about what the skirt would look like. I think it looked nice. Don't think it was perfect for me, though. Um, this is by Morvette. It's called the Jamie Jersey Wrap Sarong Style in navy. This was a 16, and it's £39, which I think is a lot. I'm sorry. I think it's a lot for a skirt. Um, but... It was so comfortable and so modest. So actually, I would endorse this for other people. I mean, I do think 39 is a bit high, but actually probably, yeah, it's probably there or thereabouts. So yeah, maybe I shouldn't pull a face so much of it being 39. Very nice skirt. I'm flip-flopping, aren't I? I'm flip-flopping. <laughs> I'm just so stunned by some of this. Last but not least, it, the Morvette uh, Lydia lounge trouser with the, the double waist thing going on. Um, they were 16 as well. They are £36. <laughs> Primark do similar for £10. Please don't. Please don't ever be tempted. So uh, that was it. The only one that I'm considering is the t-shirt dress. Um, the whole box came to £252, with a buy all discount of 20%, which was £50.40p taken off. Then my £10 styling fee also taken off. Should I keep the whole box, <laughs> it would have been £191.60p. <laughs> You're going to have to let me know, ladies. It's just the one dress. Is this worth £40? I know it's an, it's another 30 for me. So, um, yeah, would you pay that for it? Was it good enough? Let me know. But that was it for Stitch Fix. Now, as I said, I'm going to straight away, so I'm going to be looking exactly the same, I'm going to go straight into a Lakiro box because they came together. And um, obviously, you only have a certain amount of time to try these things. And I thought it would be kind of nice to bounce from one to the next. So, um, tomorrow's video, after you've seen this one, <laughs> will be my Lakiro. So <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.